This is a 2011 Mustache e-mountain bike, one of the first e-mountain bikes ever made. It belongs to Denise. She uses it to visit her mum and occasionally feed the horses. It cost her £600 from a shop in, well, I didn't actually ask. But as you can see, it is a bike far removed from today's e-mountain bikes. Yes, a lot has happened in the past decade to e-mountain bikes and I've got to thank Denise massively for lending us her pony. Um, I also want to say that I'm actually pretty gobsmacked just how good this bike is pedaling it up to this part of the trail. But today's question is just how far have e-bikes evolved in the past 10 years? Because bolted to this bike is the first ever Bosch e-mountain bike motor. Yes, back in 2009, a couple of guys working for a pretty large automotive company, Bosch, decided to build some mountain bikes, but not any old mountain bikes, an electric one. And with their prototypes, they visited people around the world with their new offering. The first proper e-bike was a sample bike from Bosch. They came over, flew to Morgan Hill, presented that bike to us because they, uh, they looked at launch partners and they uh, looked at us, so they came over. Interestingly, they couldn't fly with a battery, so they actually brought it without and then went buying uh, a lawnmower battery in the, uh, in the hardware shop <laughs> and uh, hacked this one back to their motor and it was a Bosch lawnmower uh, battery. <laughs> Many people laughed at the first Bosch e-bikes. They were crude motors and batteries built into frames that were a million miles from the finely tuned geometry that graced many mountain bikes of the same era. But Bosch were nevertheless pioneers. They were the ones that kick-started an industry. So it's pretty impressive then that in 10 years, Bosch e-mountain bike systems has gone from zero to one which is global and one where 70 different brands use their motor. So I guess when it comes to answering the question just how far we've come, the first achievement must go to Bosch because that is pretty significant. It's pretty freaking good, man. It's really good. I just can't imagine what the engineers were thinking 10 years ago because this bike is so capable, it's ridiculous. I mean, I'm now in sport mode. It's absolutely flying. It's just amazing. Absolutely. So we've just been riding this bike now for just over an hour and I have to say I would be overjoyed if I spent £500 on that e-mountain bike because it really is, it's amazing how, how capable it is. Uh, right, let's go into the details of the bike. It is a moustache hardtail of 2011 vintage. Now remember, moustache were actually one of the pioneers of e-mountain biking too. Uh, two guys, uh, Manu Antonot and Greg Sand, set up the company in 2010 in Northern France. And that's off the back of the guys at Bosch going to Eurobike and displaying this very motor, the first generation uh, Bosch e-mountain bike motor. So the detail, I mean, get this a 288 watt hour battery. I mean, that is madness, 288 watt hour. Now moving on to the motor, the motor weighs in at four kilos and it's 50 newton meters of torque. So uh, yes, things have moved on considerably. But what I love most of all is the marketing that went with the, uh, the first generation Bosch motor. So the powerful rechargeable battery with proven Bosch lithium iron technology and short charging time provides the necessary power and range for even greater independence when e-biking. Now, as I said, this is the kind of terrain that this bike was designed for. It wasn't designed for anything ridiculous like technical climbing. So I think in its place, in that time, the people riding these bikes must have been absolutely over the moon. 
I think then when we're looking at how far e-mountain bikes have come, then the second achievement must surely be the uh, pioneering 288 watt hour battery, even though it is rack mounted, and of course, uh, the first generation Bosch motor. You have to remember that mountain bikes of this 2011 era were pretty high tech, full suspension, uh, fantastic geometry. Now, of course, there were e-bikes around way before 2010, but they were primarily used as shopping bikes uh, or commuter bikes. So when Bosch came with the first e-mountain bike idea, a lot of people laughed at them because they were trying to put motors into bikes that weren't really designed for proper off-road riding. Still, for our third award, you have to give them credit because an e-mountain bike of 2011 did open up mountain biking to far more people. Whoa. Uh, I was going to say that uh, Denise is all about the upgrades, but maybe some of these parts were actually stock on the bike. I'm looking at the um, RockShox Sector Fork, the Schwalbe tyres, the Smart Sams, the uh, XT wheels on there, disc brakes front and rear, 180 mil rotors with the look of it. However, the two pieces of kit on this bike which really do it for me are the memory foam seat liner and the suspension seat post because that turns a hardtail into uh, a beautifully smooth ride. Maybe that seat setup came as stock on this bike, but one thing's for sure, I really do believe that that setup should be fixed to all hardtails these days. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Gotta love the uh, Bayless wine. Uh, now, around about 2012, Bosch introduced the Intuvia display, which they say made e-biking easier and more comfortable. Now, I'm not quite so sure about this nomination because I think that that seat probably has more to do with comfort than the display. And as we'll see later on, it's that transition from hard tails to full suspension, which really made e-mountain biking more comfortable. So, I think I'm going to scrap my award number four and just pile in to this beautifully groomed trail, which, as I said, is the perfect place for a bike like this. Wow, so much fun. Now, we're now, we are now live on a... Whoa! There's Josh there. He's going to try and catch up with me. I think he's got no chance because this bike is a flying machine. I have no doubt about it. In a place like this, this bike rules. So, so we've got an uphill section coming ahead. I think this bike will absolutely smash it. Yeah, no problems whatsoever. So for people new to e-mountain biking, this bike is an absolute dream. 500 pounds, or was it six? Can't remember. Now, as much fun as I'm having on the old moustache, it's time then, I think, to introduce some of the latest in Bosch motor technology. So, Bosch have introduced four e-mountain bike specific motors in 10 years. Now, that is a lot. Uh, but before we go into the next achievement, let's have a look at the kind of things that a bike such as that can do.
as you can see, what we now do on e-mountain bikes is quite different to what they were doing 10 years ago. So as you can imagine, my next achievement award is going to be all about torque. We have gone from 50 newton meters to 85 newton meters. That's a significant increase. So yes, torque is definitely one to tick off. Wow, I'll tell you what, 500 pounds versus 12,000 pounds, which is probably one of the most expensive e-man bikes today. You're probably look, not looking at that much faster times. Back in 2011, a 288 watt hour battery, uh, sorry Denise, uh, was a large capacity battery. However, within 10 years, we've seen that double to bikes with 600 watt hours plus. So that is a huge increase in 10 years. But not only that, some e-mounted bikes now have the option of bolting on an additional battery to the down tube, which gives a capacity in a range of say a thousand watt hours plus. So uh, obviously it depends on the weight of the rider and the tires and the componentry. But however, it goes without saying that the next achievement is definitely the increase in battery range and capacity. Uh, Denise, don't be alarmed. Uh, that's a simple fix, a very simple fix. Uh, and so too is the um, the uh, uh, the derailleur. Now I've had so much fun on this moustache bike with the first generation Bosch motor, I've decided to hang on to it. Now Denise, I'm really sorry that you haven't had this bike back for the last three weeks, but I think there's some unfinished business. And one of those uh, things is to put a head to head on the first gen from 2010 against the fourth generation motor uh, from 2020. So this is the kind of place this bike would uh, would be designed for a smoother forest track. So I got Sam up in the background there to count me in, and we're going to do a head-to-head -head sprint test up the hill. So Nick, I think it's got to be uh, turbo mode, right? Correct. Okay. Oh. So third gear, ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, and we're away. What have we got, Sam? 58.4 now. Right, 58.4. Um, I'm going to go straight in now to the um, Bosch Performance CX Generation 4 motor to get a time. What do you reckon, Sam? 20 second difference? Only one way to find out. Three, two, one. All right. away. What we got? 53.7. Right, my maths is correct. I reckon that's just over five seconds. Now, considering that this bike is a £6,000 bike, it is a state-of-the-art uh, e-mountain bike with a Bosch Performance uh, Generation 4 motor, compared to a bike which is actually £600, I think five seconds difference is, is pretty good value to me. And like I said, that is the type of track that that bike was designed for. So um, yes, it is a super bike, and yes, this one is a 600 pound budget bike, but I would be absolutely over the moon to have a bike like that to ride in conditions like this. I love this bike. I genuinely love this bike. I think it's really put a smile on my face, and anybody who buys one of these has never done mountain biking before, they're in for a massive treat. Uh, but before I forget, there is one more award, and I think that is down to the EMTB mode, which Bosch introduced in 2018. So essentially, EMTB mode was a mode that adjusted the power for you. So there you go, a quick look at the evolution of how far e-mountain biking has come. What do you guys think are the key improvements in the technology of e-mountain biking over the last 10 years? Please let us know, please let us know in the comments down below. Uh, I'm off for another lap on the good old moustache with a 50 newton meter 
generation one. Don't forget the, uh, the Gen 4 is now 85 newton meters and if you've got one and you've not already updated it, make sure you get down to your Bosch dealer. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.